Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on how to use HUD maker. Let's get straight into things. Last time we went over the basic mechanics of the first half of the elements available within HUD maker. In this video we'll be going over the last four starting with gauge. So to start, as you can imagine, a gauge needs two values, the current value and the max value. For example, we set the max value to maybe 100 and then set the current value to maybe like, I don't know, 75 and hit refresh. As you can see, 75% of the entire gauge is filled up because as you know, 75 is 75% of 100. Of course, instead of inputting direct numbers, you're probably going to want to input some JavaScript evaluations to make it so this gauge updates itself based on a specific value. Typically, when it comes for gauges, you're going to want to input some sort of stat, for example, HP, MP, TP, or something else relating to an actor in there to represent how much they have of their HP, MP, or TP filled up. So in order to get an actor's HP, MP, TP, or whatever stat, simply do actor dot any of these stats available on screen right here. So in order to get our leader's HP stat, as you recall from the previous videos, we'll do gameparty.leader.hp just like that. So we'll input it right here, gameparty.leader.hp just like that. But what if we want to get their max HP? It's very simple, simply put .mhp to get the max HP. So we'll simply take this, put it right here and do MHP just like that. Now since the actor is currently at full HP, it's gonna have a completely filled gauge. So let's try and reduce some of this HP. If we go to this little minotaur right here and talk to him, he'll reduce our HP by 50 just like that. So now instead of having, you know, 450 out of 450, it's now 400 out of 450. So if we do it again, as you can see, it's gonna now be 400 out of 450 and it'll continue to correlate with the amount of HP based on the max HP and the current HP. As you saw, we set up right here in, well, uh, there we go, yeah. Anyway, on with the rest of the properties. So as you can see, we also have our width. So we can set the width to maybe like, I don't know, uh, 240, just like that. And now as you can see, it's gonna be a lot longer. We can set the height, so maybe we'll make it sh like thinner. So we do like 23 maybe. So bam, now it's a thinner gauge, just like that. Maybe we'll make it sm smaller, so like 20. And then, wha bam, there we go. We can choose the style to be left, right, up, or down. So as you can see, if we make it right, it's going to go to the right, as you see, like that. If you want to orient it upward, simply do up like that. Of course, if you make it upward, you probably want to switch it width and height. So we'll take width, we'll make it right there. We'll take height and put it into the width. And now, as you can see, it's now a, I guess you could say, vertical gauge. And of course, you can do the same thing for down to orient it down, just like that. If you want to change the colors, you can, of course, do so by changing the gradient through the orange and red. So we'll set them maybe to a... Uh, I guess also set more green, so we'll take that and make that green. We'll take this and make it more, I guess, more dark greenish, like this. So, oof, you gotta wanna do it like this, yeah. And then hit it refresh, and now as you can see, now it's a dark green gauge, just like that. You, of course, can change the back color just like this by setting this color to something, so maybe we wanna make it a darker gray, like, there we go. Bam, as you can see, now it's gonna be darker. And of course, you can also change the outline size. So for example, make it two and the outline color, which is right now just pitch black, just like that. So there we have our gauge just chilling out right there, representing the HP of our current leader. So yeah. Next, let's go over image gauges. So we'll go down to image gauge just like this and hit create new. And now as you can see, we have a new fancier looking gauge available on screen. Once again, it's gonna be very similar to our normal gauge where you can input a current value of something like maybe 50, a max value of maybe like, I don't know, 200. And then of course it refresh and see those changes available within that gauge. But of course, as you can also see, instead of being based off of just a plain code generated gauge little picture like this, it's instead gonna be based off of actual pictures input into your picture folder. And when I say picture folder, I don't mean literally the picture folder. I mean inside your HUD folder within the gauge back for the background gauges and then the gauge image for the foreground gauges, as you can see right here. So for example, let's say you wanted to pair up, I don't know, mini back along with say, oof, the mini green, just like that. Simply go into your HUD maker just like this and select mini right grill as a green right here along with mini back like that hit refresh and now as you can see it's gonna have this image set up right like there you of course also have the ability to change the scale for example 1.5 and then maybe 1.5 right here to make it bigger like that and you also change the orientation for example make it up like that or maybe make it down like this a little hard to see since it's really really small but it's there trust me so if we made it like i don't know five bam you can see a little bit of it right there yeah Next, of course, is gonna be the image numbers. As you see right here, creating image numbers creates a number value based on an image. So for example, we can input something like, I don't know, one, two, five, four, and then bam, it's gonna correlate on screen just like that with a number image thing. 
Once again, these are based off of images set up in your HUD folder inside the numbers folder just like this. As you can see, we have a bunch of numbers available and all your image has to do is follow the format of split into 10 different parts going from 0 to 9 of it like this. As long as it's split into 10 equal parts, you can create any image format you want for your numbers into a file and then use it in your game. You can of course change the file at any time by switching this little drop down right here. So for example, maybe white numbers like that, maybe some yellow numbers just like that. It's up to you. You also have the scale, X, scale, Y, opacity, hue. So maybe shift it like, I don't know, of 45. Bam, now it's now it's greenish. And now you also have the blend. So maybe like set it to add and then bam, now it's add gr blend. Yeah. Of course, this is going to help make your gauge numbers look a lot more fancy. So we set this to maybe an evaluation like once again, game party dot leader dot hp just like that it'll get our actors current hp just like that we throw us right right here so maybe like underneath the gauge like right about there i guess and as you can see by interacting with the minotaur just like this it's gonna make our hp go down and correlate with the number in the gauge just like that so yeah the final piece is of course going to be the actor face piece which just shows the actor's face on the screen in a hud piece just like this it's very simple simply put a javascript evaluation for the current actor id for this face and put a width height background color you can make it invisible if you want just like that you can also change the mask to be circle or none so if it's none, it's going to appear as a rectangle if it's circle it's going to appear as a circle just like that you can then of course throw this guy just right in here do whatever you like go back to our maybe like name like this put this on top and making the layer like two i guess and putting it on top like that we'll take our gauge and like i don't know gauge like this we'll make it so it's going to be more horizontal so we'll make it to the left we'll make it so the width is going to be 240 and the height's going to be 20 just like this so we'll bam throw that right there on top of him just like that and of course we're going to take our numbers and put them on top of the gauge just like that by once again making the layer higher so four and then qua bam there's our there's our gauge or our <laughs> there's our there's our hud set up and ready to go we'll also move this guy a little bit more yeah in fact we'll make him centered yeah refresh oh yeah there we go perfect in fact we'll make him snap relative snap relative to the face and then i think we are good to go we can also go to like one of the other party members so for example astina like this and then well bam it updates itself so yeah it's a little hard to see so maybe we'll make add a little shape at the bottom so <laughs> we'll go to like shape create new we'll create a new uh make it a rectangle we'll make it so it's going to be about i don't know maybe 200 it'll make this about 36 We'll make it so it's going to be solid, normal. We'll set it the color one to black, so we'll set it to doo -doo, black like that. We'll set the opacity to 125, and then we'll set the layer to maybe like, I don't know, uh, one, refresh, and then we could place it on top of it just like this, and now we got a little like border to help it. In fact, we'll set it to snap mode relative again, and then bam, there we go. So yeah, that's, that's what you can do with HUD Maker. Yay! But that's not everything you can do with HUD Maker, as there is a couple more features we gotta go over in the next episodes. But that's about it for this episode, so if you enjoyed, please give the video yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and be great and stuff. Yeah.